All right now, friends, we got time before Easter. We're gonna do a couple more bouquets over the top for you. Stay tuned right here on my take on home and garden. Okay, here we go. First, we got the school wagon. Now, we're gonna do this Easter style for Mr. and Mrs. Bunny Rabbit and the kids. Got everything laid out here that I might want to use. Now again, I like to start with the pine. We use it beyond Christmas. Pull that under. And we're going to use that for an oasis, of course. And one thing I noticed right away, I wanted this little beauty trailing out of the back. Start out with that, and then I wanted this awesome wisteria hanging off the back as well. spoken to if I can't, if you can't see what I'm doing. Okay, we're going to do that again. And we, we want one higher and one offset of it. So, you, you can see some dimension. Then again, my big deal, especially Easter time, a lot of white. Look oh, at these. These were a nice fill. <laughs> and they're just glorious. Good, reasonable too. If you like me at all, you're checking your sales to get the best deals and at the retailers. Now again, we want to get some height dimension. side this wagon is really neat because it's open under the seat so you can get a good stem under there and not have to cut it off and save it for you know a taller piece when you get to reuse it again and of course that's why I push the silk flowers because you invest that money you can use them again and again and again and again. I've got some here that are 15 years old and still look good. Still look good for that money. I think we gotta go high for the last one. are huge. These pink hydrangea, I want to get in here. You know, pick those out. No, it's okay. I tease my wife about the pink, but it it's the right time of year for pink. No doubt about it. And it, and it is. Quite glorious. Oh man, I can tell where this is going. We got our body of our wagon filled a bit, and now we want to make some decisions on the rest. There's only one of these. I want a highlighter. 
So we're going to put it in the front. Front. Now we got a lot of white going in. And we got to bust that up. We know that. Let's start with some lavender. Really wonderful. You want to use these crab apple up in there. I bring a lavender up front here on the side. I went nuts over these poppies. I just had to use them again. My cabbage rows, of course. Three different colors for the Easter man. Oh, Break that up a little bit sideways. See, I'm gonna need something full and low for the front. Well, let's go with this magnolia. Different. See this cabbage rose back here. I think I need this lavender in the middle. Crocus to the rescue for that front. Low and full. Create a little nest here because we got this cute bird to work with. Pull that hydrangea out of getting buried. A couple of tweaks. You're the artist, so you bend and form everything the way you need to. Gotta use this other magnolia. Oh. Oh. That's too pretty. Getting busy in here, so <laughs> it's going to make you fight. Get this back corner because it's not in the front. So I treat the front and back a little different. And here's some white. 
that thing right in the front side. Where are we lacking white? The metal? Check this out. With Mr. Bird. You've seen him before, but he's always good when we get to use him. I think a couple of white puppies in the front. Finish that off. Some people ask, well, how do you know when you're done? Well, if you can keep going and it still looks good and it's not overdone, you're not done. That'd be my take. Now, if you're on a budget and you need some of these flowers for another arrangement for another room, then that's how you need to handle it. We have a huge collection over the years and you want to entertain your YouTube channel and your great subscribers, you use everything you can and put it over the top, right? Okay, now I want to get this in here, maybe just one. I said one. One in the front and one in the back. They're too good. Okay. I'm liking that. Now I'm going to move this and do another one. Got this incredible antique square glass vase I think I'm going to start with these white gladiola no help in there you can see to keep them straight yet but the more we get in they'll start straightening out background piece Maybe middle background piece. Look at these. Talk about springtime. Hold over for your beautiful tulips. roses to finish it off with a just a little pink cheek on there <laughs> okay folks now I'm gonna take them and put them where they go we're looking more and more Eastery
So folks, we wanted to do one more Easter video before Easter hopped away. So if you like this content and you want to see more, share and like our video. Subscribe to our channel and you can follow us on Instagram at my take on home and garden. Happy Easter everybody and as always, thanks for watching the best subscribers all around. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.